He's soulful. He's swinging. He's jazz. He's all of the above. Put your hands together. Make him know something. Will Blaze. So please, Will warm, freight and solid birthday going away will party. Welcome to Will Blaze. Like a preacher says, Will Blaze. <laughs> Thank you all for coming so much. It's much appreciated. This is very exciting because uh, it's really rare to get all my, f well, not all, a lot of my favorite musicians in one room. Uh, we got Scott Amendola. <laughs> and a lot of other folks coming up. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, we have a band called Amendola vs. Blades. It's my birthday, so I'm winning already. He doesn't get to win tonight.
Scott Amendola. All right, so um, that was actually, we just released a single off our second record that's coming out in October, and that was the single. So uh, we'll be at SF Jazz for four nights in late October, early November with Jeff Parker, Skerrick, and Cyril Baptista, who are all on the record. So we'll see you there. Thank you, good night. Uh, all right, so we're going to bring out my old school homie, Brandon Etzler, on the drums. I met Brandon in the bathroom of Boomer Room. He was trying to say hi to me, and I was like, what? And he was hella arrogant. <laughs> I wasn't arrogant, I was going to the bathroom. <laughs> He's like my brother. You can see this kind of relationship happening. Lots of arguments Lots of and love. Uh, and my Chicago, now L.A. homie, Jeff Parker. <laughs> Jeff's going to play a 20-minute solo piece to start this off. <laughs> I promise I won't talk this much all night.
Scott Amendola, Brandon Etzler, Jeff Parker, they'll all be back. Thank you. That was called Addis. I wrote that song after I went to Ethiopia in 2012. That song really has nothing to do with Ethiopia. <laughs> that doesn't mean title. Where's Jack? This is like Jack. Just leave me hanging on stage. Jack. I guess it's the solo show. All right. <laughs> He was taking a nap, he says. Jack Reardon. Uh, Jack and I have been playing duo a lot over at the Royal Cuckoo in the Mission. 
and we've established quite a nice, cozy, comfy vibe. And uh, we're going to do something. Thank you. 
Jack Reardon. No, 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 no. no. The one and only, the Mr. Oakland Stroke himself, Mike Clark, on the drums. up Mike's vibes. It's all right. In the end, like Mr. Peace. <laughs> that helps. That's what happens when you try to look cool, man. You can't see. All right, well, I'd like to talk about some, some commercial advertising while he's doing that. So Mike has a brand new CD out, and it's called Indigo, Indigo Blue, live in New York with Christian McBride, Donald Harrison, uh, Mike, Randy Brecker, lots of heavy uh, cats on it. Um, Mike took a paddle boat here to the gig, and he needs some money to get home. So please pick up his new CD entitled Indigo Blue on your way out the door. You know what? We're going to play an Eddie Harris tune. This is called Crying Blues. Yeah. <laughs> uh, th that's what's wrong the whole time. You took the sunglasses off. Come on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Mike Clark. All right. In case you had no idea, this is like one of the original Oakland funk cats. <laughs> Herbie Hancock and the Headhunters. One of the most sampled drummers around Mike Clark. If you haven't heard him, you probably have heard him somewhere. He even wrote the theme for Everett and Jones Barbecue back in 1906. I'm actually not kidding. How many of you know God Made Me Funky? Yes, so that was originally the theme for Everett and Jones Barbecue. God Make Me Funky is one of the most sampled songs ever. Uh, and that's Mr. Mike Clark. Now, we got a very, very special treat for you guys. Big Chief, Donald Harrison.
Once again, Jack Reardon on the guitar. We're going to get Jeff Parker back up. <laughs> 